Now that we have some understanding of what PrestaShop is, let's go ahead now and explore all the available options and menus within PrestaShop. I've logged back to my dashboard and basically by the default when you log back into your PrestaShop, the very first page displayed will actually be the dashboard. In this video tutorial, we'll have a look at the menu called Catalog. The Catalog menu is located just below the dashboard option and once you actually click on catalog the catalog page like this will open also take a note that a few other options are available here so under catalog we have the products we have the categories we have the monitoring product attributes product features manufacturers suppliers tags and attachments Alright, so the very first page is actually the products under the catalog and right at the top we have the add new products so this is something that you will be using to add a new product there is the recommended modules and there is also help link here as well should you click on recommended modules a module like this will actually show up and you can actually go and install some of these modules some of them are free for some of them you will actually have to pay and this is something like add-ons or actual widgets or whatever you want to call it when you're actually building your online community or online e-commerce store okay i'll just shut this down and now let's have a look at our products page right at the top you'll have some information so it will give you this block information i call it as you can see it's given in different color blocks so items in stock we have this many basically this is saying how many of the items you're trying to sell you currently have in your stock so this should be around 100 percent that's the optimum and the best value which actually means you have everything that you want to sell in your stock then we'll come across to the average gross margin margin which is actually zero percent at the moment then we have 80 percent of your sales in the last 30 days and zero of my catalog and then we have disabled products okay so this at the top will give you some information some very basic information about your products so the next option here will actually come and you can actually check uh, to filter by categories down below you find all of your products so this is all of the products I currently have in my online store as you can see I have seven of them and first of all I have the IDs from one to seven I can actually select as many as I want of these items and I can perform some of the bulk actions so basically I can enable this selection disable it or the last option here is to actually delete the selected okay the next one across is actually the photo this is the photo of my product then I have the name the reference the category so this is something that we'll be creating in one of the other tutorials then I have the best price final price the actual quantity the status and here I have the button to actually edit this particular product now with the edit button if you click on this edit you can see that it's actually been divided into two different buttons if you click on the left button it will actually open the page so it will open the page for this particular product however if you click on the right button this is something that I call a short edit it will actually give you the option to duplicate or to actually delete this particular product okay moving at the top you'll actually find the same as the button all the way to the top add new product next to it is the actual export button and then you have the import from the cloud and you have the refresh link here button as well okay so basically this is a little table of all of your products and like I said you can click on them and actually go and edit those particular products or you can actually perform some of the bulk actions or the good thing is if you're searching for some of those products so for, for example if you're searching for a product products page will give you a lot of different options to search for that particular product so for example you can search by the ID name or reference or category best price final price quantity and the actual status so you can easily find all of your products by basically using all of the available attributes here that are given by the default about your products in the catalog menu just below the products is the actual categories as the name of the link suggests here you'll have some categories like before you have some basic stats or information right at the top and then you have a list of all of your actual categories 
you will create many different categories as you need and to do that there's two ways you can either use the big button right at the top add new category or you can actually go down here and click on this little icon here which is actually add new then also there is the import link here import from the cloud there is the edit button just like with the products you'll have a table here so for example i have one category here and that's stated right here i have my id the name and the description here as well then i have the position here so if i had many different categories i can rearrange the position and i have whether i have the option to actually display or hide this so if i click on this button here it will actually disable my displayed link and this category will not be displayed like with the products i have two options to edit if i click on this left hand edit button it will actually open a bit more options to actually go about changing some of the properties of this particular category or I can actually go and hit on the right hand button and I have the delete and view links and options here moving down the list under the catalog we also find the monitoring option under monitoring there's a couple of segments which are displayed here first of all you can see right at the top list of empty categories so all of the empty categories will be listed here so for example i have two categories which are actually empty meaning there's nothing in them and those are actually called tops and home and i have the id here the name and the description moving along the moving a bit to the right i have the status you can see that my tops has been disabled but my home has actually been enabled. Once again, there's the option to edit those two here. So if I click on edit, this will open a full edit. And if I click on this right hand button, it will just open a small drop down menu where I can delete or view my particular category. Also, all of these tables, like we have seen before, give you the option to actually search for a particular category by entering one of many attributes so for example id name or the description or i can actually go here and search by status moving down i'll find the list of all products with attributes but without available quantities for sale so basically i do not have these items in my online store even though i'm actually displaying them so for example this is product number id six and four and basically those are the printed summer dress and print address they're available meaning that they're actually enabled however i do not have any quantities of those for sale i can go and edit that as well moving a bit more down i'll find the list of all products without attributes and without available quantities for sale so the only difference between the previous table the one at the top and the one that i'm currently referring to is that this one does not even have the attributes while the top one actually has the attributes but i do not have any available quantities for sale at the moment i have no records down the bottom the last table is actually list of disabled products so i might have some products which are listed which are there but have been actually disabled for one or other reason i do not have any of those products here i have spoken about product attributes and the next link we're going to click just on the monitoring is actually product attributes all right so this is the list of all of my product attributes i currently have i have the size shoe size and color once again, you can search by entering ID, the name, and actually you can come here and change the position. So to change the position, you just drag it and drop it. And that actually changes your position. You can see the indexing here has actually changed. So this is index 0, 1, 2. So it's going to start with index 0, no matter which attribute you actually put there. So I can choose to go color first and the index will change to 0 and color will be displayed first and you'll have some sort of a notification that this has actually changed in the upper right corner so update successful okay to enter new attributes you would go and click on add new attribute you can actually add a new value or you can come to the little menu here little icons and then there is the add new attribute option here there's the import from cloud and you can actually go and refresh it once again there is the bulk action activity available here as well so i can select one or you would actually select more than one so you would select two or more actual uh, attributes in this case and you will perform bulk actions so you can actually just delete the selected talking about the product features there's 
a link here which will actually give you some options to describe your products in more detail. Basically I'm still using the demo version that I have pre-downloaded and installed here. So this is a demo of my online store as I think this is a good, a good way to actually explain a few things. And this is pretty much the same as the attributes but it only displays but it only explains the product in more information, so it gives more details. Once again, we can add a new feature, we can add a new feature value, we have the recommended modules as well, and we have the small icons here as well. Like before, we can easily change the order in which this is displayed, just by dragging and dropping. We can go and hit on big edit or the small edit. On the small edit, we'll have the delete and view options here. The number of feature products is displayed here and it's 7 at the moment. We'll move to the manufacturers and basically you can add as many manufacturers as you would like. So there are two tables, there is the first one which is labeled as manufacturers and there is the second one labeled as addresses. Okay, I have currently only one manufacturer listed here which is the fashion and just like before we have the big menu here and I can add a new manufacturer. I can add the new manufacturer address which will actually refer to the second table here. So basically you would enter some information about your manufacturer here as to the actual address, the physical address or any other information that might be relevant regarding this particular manufacturer. Once again we have the small menu here as well on both tables where you can actually go and add a new, in this particular case it will be a new manufacturer you can export this table, you can actually import it from the import a new table from the cloud or you can go and refresh it. You have the option here to view and you have the option here which will actually allow you to edit and delete this particular manufacturer. The same applies for the table below where the addresses are stored. You have the option to add new, you have the op option to export, import, refresh and then you have the big edit and the small edit which will only allow you to delete this particular address for a particular manufacturer. PrestaShop allows you to have suppliers and the basic information for the suppliers is actually located at this link here just below the manufacturers link. When you open this particular link you'll be presented with a table like this one basically this is almost like your manufacturer but this is a supplier and there's some difference between of course the suppliers and the manufacturers but it actually follows the same principle you'll have the table here with the id you can insert the logo name number of products whether or not it's been enabled you can view it or you can actually go edit or delete this particular supplier there's also the small icons menu here to add new export, import and refresh. Moving down the list we'll come to the tags and at this particular time I do not have any tags here. Okay, I can go and add new tags by following the same procedure going to the small icon menu or, follow, or just clicking on the big menu, big icon menu right at the top and down the bottom the last option under the catalog menu is actually the attachments and basically here you would add any sort of attachments that will actually go into your catalog so those attachments will in some way be representative to your product so this was a very quick introduction into the catalog menu and in the later tutorials we'll have a look how to use those available options here to add new products create categories and then we'll have a, a look at the monitoring and we'll see how to add product um, attributes so basically this is something that will in more details explain your product and this will actually almost be those two options here product features and product attributes I like to think of those as some sort of a subcategories to the categories so you have the categories for example women's pants and then you have some attributes and some features so features might be that they have a that there might be long pants or short pants and the attributes might be the colors and the actual sizes and whatnot. So I think of those two as the subcategories to the categories. Okay, so this is basically all on the first menu available there, the actual catalog, which is once again located right below the dashboard menu.